Hello and welcome to Ganesha's YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can solve a partial differential equation. And that is with integration method, direct integration method. You know that integrals are antiderivatives, right? So if we want to find out antiderivatives, means if you are given with differentiation of something with respect to x, okay? And you want to find out that function, then you can integrate it and you will get the function, correct? So what I'm going to say is, let's say you are given with du equals something and you want to find out the value of u, then what you can do? That means you want to do empty integral, so you can integrate it because integrating of du will be u, right? Similarly, if you want to solve a partial differential equation, then what you can do? Integrate it and you will find the main function, okay? Let's begin with an example. You can see here, you need to solve triple in different partial differentiation of z with respect to y, then double differentiation with respect to x, 18xy square and sine 2x minus y equals 0. What you need to do, consider your highest order, this partial differentiation, it is of 3 order, right? Because you did it, means question has given us number 3 in power. So, it's been uh, differentiated 3 times. Now, what you need to do, you have to integrate as many times as you are given with the partial differentiation order. So, integrate it 3 times. And with respect to what? With respect to 1y and 2x. Then only you will be able to get the function, right? so as to remove the partial differentiation operator. So what we need to do, first of all, integrate with respect to x. Keeping y constant. What is it? Keeping y constant. So, if you keep y constant, that means that form will be in the form of somewhat fy function in terms of y, correct? So, integrate it. If you are integrating one time, then it will remove one partial differentiation order, right? du will make u. If you will give in with d square u, then you need to integrate it twice. One time and another time, then you will get u, right? So, you are integrating one time, you will get Reduce the number. Partial, double partial differentiation. Because you are doing 1 time x. So 1x will be left. Okay. Plus make sure you are integrating. Don't confuse with differentiation. So 18. Integration formula for x. Add 1 power and divide with the same. Correct? Keeping y constant. Thereafter. Sin, for sine theta, it is minus cos theta. And for theta, different integrated. So, how you can do integration of sine theta? Sine theta is minus cos. And then after whatever is the theta, you need to integrate. You need to differentiate it. Correct? And divide it. This is the formula. So, sin theta is minus cos theta. Now, differentiate theta, which is 2 with respect to x only. 2. So, divide with it. <clears throat> okay? And that is in the form of function in terms of y. Correct? Now, uh, you can cancel it. Now, again, integrate with respect to x. So, Again, it will be reduced by 1. So, completely remove x. Integrate with respect to x. So, x cube, add 1 power, divide with the same. Cos theta is sin theta. And differentiate it with respect to x. 2, divide with 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4. Correct? Now, what is it? You can see, this is Fy. Integration of Fy with respect to or integration of this is Y. So, it will be Yfy. 
Correct? And again, this is in the form of y term. So, the function is gy. Okay? Now, remove y. So, what you need to do? Integrate with respect to y. This will be z because you just remove y. You are removing it. With respect to y, so 3, you are not, you are keeping x constant, you are not touching x, okay? So x cube is still there. Integration of y square is y cube by 3. Right? For sine, sine is minus cos. So minus minus is plus. Now differentiation of this with respect to y will be minus 1. So minus 1. This is, you are doing with respect to x. So this is, you are keeping this function constant, this function constant. And this is the function in terms of x, right? Usually we say that uh, for constant term, what, what is the value? For constant, we don't consider x, right? So, that's why we are not, we just put y, y, g, y. We are not making them 0 because we are integrating it and it has more factors as well. So, you need to just keep them constant and another function wx is there because you are integrating with respect to y. That means that that function is in the form of x, correct? So, you are doing it with respect to y. Uh, one thing I left is that if you do integration of this thing, what will you get? y square by 2, correct? And this will be y g y and this is the function of wx, right? Sorry about that. So, now you can see, you can consider it something like ui, function in terms of ui. Either you can write y square by 2 or what you can do, simply write this. Simply write this. Okay, then also it is fine. Thereafter, you can consider this ui, vy, this is wx and your z will be minus x cube y cube plus 1 by 4 cos 2x minus y. And these are already in right hand side. So, this is your z. So, in this way, you can find out partial differential equation by partial differential equation by direct integration method. Integrate them. Remove the uh, order. Remove the differential operator and get the function. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.